Hello and welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we'll be upgrading the hard drive in a 2011 Mac Mini. We've already backed up our data to an external drive, shut down, unplugged, and have placed the Mac Mini on a soft, static-free work surface. We are now ready to begin. The first step is to flip the Mac Mini over. On the bottom, you'll see a dot on the black plastic cover and two on the case itself. Rotate the cover counterclockwise until the two white dots are aligned. You can then gently lift the cover off. The memory modules are located here. To remove them, gently push outward on the retaining clips until the top module pops up. Then, gently pull it straight out. Repeat the process for the lower module. Next, use your Torx T6 screwdriver to loosen the three screws that hold the fan in place. Once you've done that, gently lift the fan up and to the side to reveal the fan connector. Use your nylon pry tool to gently lift up on the connector to detach it from the logic board. You may then set the fan aside. Next, we need to remove this cowling. Detach this screw near the bottom. Then, gently slide the cowling out and set it aside. Next, use your nylon pry tool to gently detach both the SATA connector and the IR board connector. Once you've done that, you can use your Torx T8 screwdriver to remove these two screws holding the hard drive to the airport antenna grate. Next, remove these three 2mm hex screws. If you don't have a hex rinse, you can use your Torx T8 to do the job. If you do this, use a light touch to avoid stripping the screws. Gently slide the antenna grate out and let it hang off the side. If the airport cable comes loose, that's okay. You can reattach it later. Otherwise, it can just sit there. Remove this final screw with your Torx T6 screwdriver. Slide two thin screwdrivers into these two holes. Then gently pull back on the screwdrivers to slide the logic board out of the back of the Mini. You don't need to remove it completely, we just need enough room to remove the drive from the top slot. You can then reach in and pull the hard drive out of the Mini. There's some hardware we'll need to remove from the old drive so we can reuse it on the new one. First, remove the SATA connector by simply sliding it off. Next, remove these two mounting pins by using your Torx T8 screwdriver. If you're installing a standard hard drive, then you'll also want to gently peel off the black plastic cover on the old drive to put it on the new one, as it covers the exposed circuit board. If you're installing an SSD, you can skip this step since there's no exposed circuitry to cover. You can install either a 2.5 inch SATA hard drive or solid state drive in the Mac Mini. For this installment, we'll be using an OWC Mercury Extreme Pro 6G SSD. First, line up the SATA connector on the drive with the SATA cable's connection and slide the two together. Next, attach the two mounting pins in these two spots. Since we're installing an SSD, we're not going to replace the plastic cover. Otherwise, this is where you'd do it. We can now install the drive in the Mac Mini. The two mounting pins on the drive will need to go into these two gaskets. It may take a little maneuvering to seat the drive correctly. Once the drive is seated, you can slide the logic board back into place, making sure not to pinch any cables underneath. Next, slide the antenna crate back into place. You may need to move it around a little bit to make sure it lays flat. 
You can now attach the two Torx T8 screws that hold the hard drive to the grate. Then, reattach the three hex screws around the edge. Again, if you're using your Torx T8 screwdriver to do this, you need to be extremely careful not to tighten them too hard, or you'll strip the screws. Replace the single Torx T6 screw near the rear of the logic board. Next, reattach the SATA and IR board cables by lining them up with their connectors on the board and gently snapping them into place. Slide the cowling back into place and reattach the lower screw that holds it in. Then, reattach the fan cable to its connector on the logic board, set the fan into place, and tighten the three screws that hold it in. You may now replace the memory. The notches on the memory modules line up with the pins in the memory slots. Place the first module into the lower slot at about a 40 degree angle until it's fully seated. Then, push down on the outer edge to lock it into place. Repeat the process for the top module. Put the bottom cover onto the Mini, making sure that both white dots line up. Then rotate the bottom cover clockwise until the black and white dots are aligned. You may now flip your Mini over, hook it back up, and turn it on.